Well, let's turn to the genesis of the show, Dan. Um, sort of curious how this all came about. I know there's some uh, parallels to your own life, right? Uh, yeah, I, I went to community college when I was, I think, 32 in Glendale, California. And uh, yeah, rock on. Glendale? Go, go, go Glendale uh, gl Glens. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, it's a kind of a downscale athletic budget. Our mascot was a guy named Glenn. <laughs> the mighty Glenn. It, it wasn't the geographic And I was, at the time, already 32. Uh, I, was, I was already what I considered. I was like, well, I got my life going on. But I was, uh, I was going there to just uh, broaden my mind and save a relationship. My girlfriend was taking a dance class. And I thought, let's take Spanish together. Then we'll be forced to communicate. <laughs> You know, because uh, we were on the verge, you could feel it. Um, and so we thought it was a good idea. It turned out not so much. But uh, w while I was there, I took a biology class. And because I was 32 and had nothing else to do, I was like acing biology. And all these like <laughs> younger people who are like juggling full time jobs at Jiffy Lube and like, like also having to take biology and still full of hormones and all this stuff, they're getting C's and they're seeing my A's and they come up to me and they go, we want to study with you. And they say it in such a way that makes me feel like I'm going to be a huge jag if I say no. And I, I didn't want to, though, because I had nothing to gain. But to, you know, I was like, what, do you want to siphon off my A? Uh, you want to just suck my genius juice out of the fuel tank? And what, what, what do I get, a, a keychain? Um, and that's the kind of person I was at that time. I still am. But, but uh, <laughs> since then, I've joined a nunnery. Uh, no, I, I, I was, uh, I, and so I was in this tiny room in the Glendale uh, Community College Library with these guys learning cellular mitosis for an exam. And I didn't get it, and they didn't get it, and I was miserable to be showing up for this, and it was 9 PM. And then at some point during that evening, uh, an experience happened to me that I bookmarked in my head for the future when I ran out of ideas about robots and stuff. And I, 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 the, the experience was, oh my god, I like these people who have nothing to do with my career. Uh, I like these people who, I've never, who I would never hang out with if I met them in a bar. I like these people who I, I, I'm, I've, I'm bonding with them for some reason other than, uh, you know, I don't know, like, like thinking that it's going to contribute to me somehow. Uh, and I, I'm not a networker or an upward like climber or anything. I just mean like you just there's a certain mode of thinking where you're just sort of like carving out your life, and I'm sorry, I'm going to be the person that I want to be, and that's only half a life. And I suddenly had this thing of like this is how like this is the other half of your life where you like kind of make friends and stuff. And I had that for one minute, and I'll never go back. Uh, because I immediately ran to Hollywood and said, I got an idea for a TV show. And uh, I came here in a limo, and I threw a bottle at one of those guys. Uh, sucker. Um, but, but for that moment, I recognized the fact that my heart was, you know, it was, it was dysfunctional by virtue of how much I had. <clears throat> what else is going on? Uh, and, and, and so that's where the character of Jeff Winger comes from, is just the idea that, uh, you know, you, there's a certain kind of control freak that doesn't acknowledge he's a control freak. There's a, there's a child that doesn't acknowledge he's a child. And uh, this guy is, um, I think I put it right on my balls. <laughs> uh, so he, he, he goes to this place, which is, and he lives and he learns. That, I think your question was, where'd you come up with the idea? 